I feel like there's this common misconception around being healthy. Whenever we hear the word health, we think expensive. But it definitely doesn't have to be this way and I don't believe that it costs a lot to be healthy. In fact, I actually believe that it costs a lot more not to be healthy. And I'm not just talking financially. When you're not healthy, you just don't feel as good as you could. You feel sluggish, tired, grumpy, and then you also know in the back of your mind that you really could be healthier. So your self-esteem is down as well. And then in terms of the finances, leading an unhealthy lifestyle often involves a lot of doctor visits, medication, hospital trips, and special diets, none of which sound all that cheap. So if health means being happier, more vibrant, fitter, energetic, and wealthier, then it makes sense to be healthy, right? But when we don't have these poor health-related expenses immediately up and in our faces, it can be really easy to view a healthy lifestyle as an expensive one. And we see all these pictures of health and it really does look expensive. High-end lifestyles, expensive vitamins, health retreats, superfoods, healthy cafes, detox teas, organic food, and on and on. And yeah, that stuff is expensive, but it's also not the be-all and end-all of our health. There are so many things that we can do to be healthy that cost very little or nothing at all. So just before I jump into this video and all of the good stuff, I do have to give a quick little disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, dietitian, nutritionist, naturopath, or health professional of any sort, and the tips that I'm about to provide may not work for everyone and certainly aren't the perfect solution for everything. But let's be real, we're all just trying to do the best that we can, and not everyone at every stage of their life can afford things like supplements, vitamins, minerals, gym memberships, or naturopaths, and I just wanna give you some insight that will hopefully help you improve your own health and happiness and overall lifestyle. So I'm gonna be breaking these tips into three categories, inner health, physical health, and mental health. And then I have a little secret one at the end that is honestly simultaneously the cheapest and arguably the most beneficial of them all, and in my opinion, the most enjoyable one as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. So starting off with a healthy inside, let's talk food. So when you're buying food from your supermarket, stick to the perimeters. This is where the fresh produce is, while the packaged foods are often in the middle aisles, and these tend to be where you will find the more unhealthy products. And when you're buying your food, you wanna try and choose food that is both cheap but filling. So things like starchy vegetables like potatoes, chickpeas, or other canned legumes are always a really good option. Fruit does tend to be one of the most expensive grocery items, but I find that it's much cheaper to buy fruit that's in season and the generally cheaper fruit like apples or bananas. I really love berries, but they're often a really expensive one, so I generally opt for frozen berries. And of course, you can do this for any other fruit or vegetables as well. Another great option is that you can buy food on sale and you can even plan your meals around what's currently on sale as well. It's also a lot cheaper if you buy in bulk, so things that you know will last a long time like grains or canned foods. And when I go shopping, I always try and eat before I go. Otherwise, my hunger decides what I want and I often end up with a lot more food than I need and a larger percentage of it being on the more unhealthy side. And my final little tip for the food section of this video is when you're buying your food, try and be really mindful of how much you will actually eat. This is a really useful tip I find to minimize both food waste and financial waste. And I think it's really fun at the end of the week to look in your pantry or your fridge and see what you have left and be creative with those leftovers. So you're using up the rest of what you've bought rather than just throwing it away. Drinking water is absolutely crucial to living a healthy life. And so many of us are so lucky to have access to clean and fresh water on a daily basis. So there's no excuse not to be drinking enough. The first thing that I do every morning is have a few big gulps of water from the water bottle that I always leave next to my bed. I then will carry my water bottle around with me all day so it's always there reminding me to drink. 
Supplements are one of those things that a lot of us spend our money on and we tend to buy them more because we think we should rather than having legitimate proof that our bodies need it. And not all of us can always afford them. But the good thing is, is that we can get so many vitamins, minerals, macro and micronutrients in the most natural forms from fruits and veggies. So using the tips I gave you just before, I recommend purchasing the widest variety of fruits and veggies that you can currently afford. And I'm not saying that you don't need supplements, many of us do, but if you can't currently afford them, then getting them from fruits and veggies will be really beneficial for you as well. And if you are deficient in some areas, then supplements may be really beneficial for you. Just obviously check with your doctor or health professional first. You can also get vitamins and minerals from other aspects of the environment, but I'll talk more about that in the mental health section of this video. So for now, how can we be physically healthy without being physically broke? The first thing I have to say about this is think about the kind of exercise that makes you so incredibly excited to do and that doesn't feel like a chore. And this could be in any form of exercise. So with weights, cardio, a sport, at the gym, literally anything. Physical fitness is scientifically proven to lengthen your life and increase your happiness. It's not just about growing your muscle mass or losing weight either, but the endorphins exercise produces, which is why I believe it is so important to exercise the way that you want to and not the way that you think you should or that you think you're expected to. I know that I absolutely hate home workouts, but I do love exercising with people. So a few months ago, I signed up for a rock climbing membership and have not looked back. I absolutely adore going and it does not feel like exercise at all. But don't worry, if you can't afford a membership of some form currently, there are so many options for you. If you like the kind of exercise one does at the gym, you could go to a park or work out from home instead, doing high rep body weight sessions. You could also invest in some resistance bands or free weights. Alternatively, you could work out with a partner and use their body weight or just exercise with them and have them motivate you. You could also join a local group like for running or yoga, or you could literally just pop on YouTube and search whatever kind of workout or exercise that you want to do. There is so much on YouTube that I can almost guarantee that whatever you type in, you'll find something that you will love. Now, skincare is one of those areas where we are just oversaturated by products and some of them can be really pricey, but there are a few things that we can do for very little that keep our skin nice and healthy. Our skin is made up of elastin and collagen and it's these chemicals that help keep us looking young and our skin looking nice and vibrant and healthy. And so to maintain this, we want to make sure that our skin is nice and hydrated. For this, a lot of people love coconut oil or a very simple natural moisturizer. And if you get the ones that aren't perfumed, they're often cheaper and better for you as well. And if your skin tends to be more on the oily side, I have an aloe vera plant at home, which I really love to use as a moisturizer because it never feels oily on my skin. I also use it if I ever get any burns and it is just such an easy plant to look after. It's definitely been a great investment in my life. On the rare occasion that I do wear makeup, I like to use coconut oil to remove it. I never need much and it never irritates my skin either. And so when it comes to acne and pimples, I really recommend not using any soaps or harsh chemicals. I've made a video on this previously, which I've linked below, but basically all over our skin, we have a healthy layer of bacteria known as the microbiome and soaps and harsh chemicals can strip our skin of this bacteria. And as a result, the pH on our skin is out of balance. So on top of hormones, our skin is trying to balance itself out and as a result, overproduces an oil or dries out the skin completely. And I used to have moderately bad acne on my face, chest and back. And after I stopped using soap on these areas, it has almost completely cleared up and it did so really, really quickly. But if I have to give you one super easy, super cheap, healthy skincare tip, it would be to hydrate, hydrate, 
hydrate. We can be doing all of the things I previously discussed correctly, like eating the right foods and exercising the way we want to, but still something just doesn't feel right. Mental health is such a huge and varying topic at the moment and probably the most crucial aspect to our health. Poor mental health can come with so many costs and only some of those are financial, which is why I think it is so important, whatever our budget, to be mindful of our health and constantly trying to work towards a healthy mental state. For me, I know that the best way to improve my mental health is to make sure my life is balanced. That means I have enough personal time, social time, work time, and nature time. And all of these can be completely free of charge. Personal time just means spending time doing things that make you happy. It could be in the form of meditation, cooking, art, exercising, gaming, reading, journaling, whatever makes you feel happy, calm, relaxed, and recharged. And you can do things that no make you feel this way, or you can try something new and maybe you'll discover something that works even better for you. Social time refers to spending time with people other than yourself. It could be time with a friend, a partner, a family member, a social group, or even strangers. And for introverts like me, I find it's really vital for me to make sure that I get out and have that social time as well. Nature time is that amazing time where you're outdoors amongst the vibrations of the earth. Not only is it incredibly healthy to be outdoors and away from a screen, but the natural energy from the earth energizes and invigorates, so our endorphins are flowing. It doesn't cost anything to get out and go to the beach, go for a hike, go camping, go for a road trip, walk in the park, or you could even get your personal or social time in one of these amazing locations. A few years ago, I was going through a really tough time in my life and my mental state was absolutely horrible. The last thing that I wanted to do was leave my room or especially go outside. But my mum encouraged me all the time to get out and get in the sun and I had no idea how much that would help me. The sun is the largest energy source and provides us with the most natural energy we can get. Every cell in our body soaks up this energy and it recharges and rejuvenates with it. It balances hormones, combats depression, and I truly cannot recommend it enough. Every day I make an effort to get outside for at least 10 minutes and soak up that incredible energy and vitamin D. Not only does the sun provide me with a healthy glow, but it is completely free of charge and one of the most effective tools I have ever come across. Show your skin to the sun, I promise it helps. And finally, the secret to all healthy beings is sleep. I will go over sleep and why it is so ridiculously important in, an, in another video because I am so passionate about this topic and have so much that I want to share with you that it just deserves a whole video in itself. But for now, just trust me on this. When you get a proper night's sleep, everything in your life thrives. I'm talking physical health, mental health, inner health, everything. And as if sleep wasn't already good enough, it's also free of charge. And I don't know about you, but it's a pretty enjoyable way to spend my time. Okay, so that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. We don't need an abundance of money to be happy and healthy people. All we need to do is just change our mindsets and be a little creative. Being healthy on a budget isn't only a possibility, but it could be your life. I upload new videos every Thursday and I really, really can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.